Words. Words tell us what the subjects in a sentence are, what they do or what they possess. Words express action, being and possession. For example, Neelam is a girl, being, I eat a burger daily, action, Neelam has a beautiful dress, possession. Words are the most important part of a sentence. In fact, we cannot form a sentence without a verb. For example, the children in the park is not a sentence. The children are playing in the park is a sentence. A verb in a sentence may be formed in different ways. For example, Madhuri sat on a carpet, one word. Gullu is sitting on a stool, two words. Shruti will be sitting on that bed, three words. Verb express actions. Words like go, sit, run, talk, walk, etc. express actions. For example, go to the market, keep quiet, please sit down. Words do not be. The words am, is, are, was, were, been and been are different forms of the verb be. They tell us what a person or a thing is. Generally, these words are used with other action words in a sentence, but they can act as the main verbs too. For example, he is an astrologer, is is the main verb, I am reading, reading is the main verb, as is the helping verb. They are in the staff room, are is the main verb. Kamna was going out, going is the main verb, was is the helping verb. They were busy, were is the main verb. Verbs do not belonging. The verbs has, have and had show belonging or possession when they are used as a main verb. For example, they have a sports car. She has an elder sister. I had a pet dog. I have a new dress. They also used as helping verbs with main verbs in a sentence. For example, I have finished my work. I have read this book. Here, have helps the main verb finished and read. The verb have also means to eat or to enjoy. For example, she has juice every morning to drink. We had a great time yesterday to enjoy. Subject verb agreement. Every sentence has a subject and a verb. The subject and the verb in a sentence must agree in number. For example, Rahul plays in the park. Rahul, singular subject. Plays, singular verb. If the subject in a sentence is singular, the verb should also be singular. For example, a cow gives us milk. One is coming out of the room. If the subject in a sentence is plural, the verb should also be plural. For example, cows give us milk. Vanya and Varuna coming out of the room. With I and you, we always use a plural verb. For example, I walk to school. You are a nice boy. All of you must go out of the room. Kinds of verbs. Transitive verbs. Verbs are action words. Some verbs need an object to complete its sense, while some do not. For example, John reads, Sarah sings, Mahi chews. These sentences do not give a proper sense. To make these sentences with complete sense, we need to add objects to these sentences. Now again read these sentences. John reads a fairy tale. Sarah sings a beautiful song. Mai choose the food properly. After having added objects to these sentences, these sentences have complete meaning. The verb that need an object to complete the sense of sentences are called transitive verbs. Intransitive verbs. In contrast to transitive verbs, intransitive verbs do not need an object to complete their meanings. Such verbs have complete sense even without an object. The sun shines. He ran a long distance. Linking verbs. Some verbs take two objects. For example, Supriya gave Leela a book. He asked me a question. The government offered the rebels a solution. Some verbs can be used transitively as well as intransitively. For example, Varsha gave with an apple, transitive. The bridge gave way, intransitive. Some words do not make complete sense by themselves. They do not take an object to make their sense complete. In such cases, complement is added at the end of the sentence to make the sense complete. A verb that joins a complement is called a linking verb. For example, Gaurav looks smart. The proposal sounds beneficial. Ritu is intelligent. Forms of verbs. 
Every verb has three forms, present form, first form, past form, second form, and past participle form, third form. The fourth form, called present participle, is formed by adding ing to the present form of the verb. Now read the following sentences. We go to the park, first form. We went to the park, second form. We had gone to the park, third form. We are going to the park, ing form. Some verbs and their forms. Weak verbs. The verbs that form their past forms by adding ed, d or t to the present forms are called weak verbs. Some of these are present, past, past participle, bag, bagged, bagged, buy, bought, bought, breed, bread, bread, create, created, created, cry, cried, cried, deal, dealt, dealt, free, freed, freed, feel, felt, felt. Follow, followed, followed. Bring, brought, brought. Burn, burnt, burnt. Bend, bent, bent. Catch, caught, caught. Dry, dried, dried. Destroy, destroyed, destroyed. Feed, fed, fed. Fulfill, fulfilled, fulfilled. Fail, failed, failed. Strong verbs. Some verbs change to their past and past participle forms by changing inner vowels. Such verbs are called strong verbs. Some of these are. Remember, some verbs do not change their forms in past and past participle form. Some of these are present past past participle. Cut, cut, cut. Hit, hit, hit. Read, read, read. Set, set, set. Cost, cost, cost. Put, put, put. Shut, shut, shut. Spread, spread, spread. Verbs forming part of another verb take the past and past participle forms as follows. Present, past, past participle. Become, became, become. Foretell, foretold, foretold. Throw, through, thrown. Undergo, underwent, undergone. Come, came, come. Go, went, gone. Tell, told, told. Overthrow, overthrew, overthrown.